Hey guys, and welcome back for another video. Today, we're gonna be looking at how toxic like our world is becoming. <laughs> and um, it's really hard not to like, really let this stuff affect you. Like when you're constantly putting things like this in your mind and you're constantly viewing all this toxicity, it's almost like, is it rubbing off on me? Like, am I becoming more toxic because I'm viewing all of these toxic things? You know, I often wonder that. There's a couple things that we're gonna go over today and we're gonna see what we can decipher, maybe learn from or just postulate our opinion on. Oh, and by the way, yeah, this is like explanation of mom life 3000 because random stains on your shirt that you know yourself you didn't cause because believe it or not it's almost five o'clock in the evening and i have not eaten anything today um that is with a purpose i am uh, actually fasting i'm just trying to cleanse myself as much as i possibly can and being at home a lot has led me to indulge a little bit on things and i just want to make sure that i'm clean in my diet, clean in every way. And, I, and what I mean by that is I know I've been eating healthy, but I've been drinking a lot of high sugar things. I've even had a little bit of alcohol. So you know what? It's time for some clarity. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, this was an interesting video because we literally have a homosexual here who gets kicked out of his living situation for being a homosexual. <laughs> so a homosexual turned homo being kicked out. And so that's what makes this video so interesting. Let's just go ahead and watch this tragedy take place. I mean, shall we? Say I'm literally shaking. I'm literally shaking. So I just went through my man's phone again, and I see he got text messages between him and some named Chantel talking about what's up, boo. Talk about I'm the baby mama. First of all, no, I'm not. I'm his whole ass girlfriend. Am I the first guy you ever been with? I was kind of scared to act on it, but y'all see this shit? Especially our first kiss. You'll get one later when we get to the gym. Oh, hell no. He got some explaining to do. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this out there. This is what reading text messages can kind of get you, but it's an explanation of like how there's no trust, obviously, in their relationship. If she had to look at his phone, obviously she knows that something isn't right. You know, it's usually something in your female intuition that will tell you, okay, I need to be looking behind something. There's something that can be found here. But me personally, I don't do that kind of stuff. But then my husband doesn't really give me a reason to. I'm not saying that I ever wouldn't. Because as long as he keeps, I guess, not giving me a reason to, I've got no reason not to, or a reason to snoop. But we're going to keep watching. Hello? Excuse me? Hey, get up. Get up. I just looked through your phone and I saw some messages and I need an answer. Get up. I just looked through your phone and I saw some messages. Who the f is Chantel? What? Who is Chantel? You said, what's up, boo? And she talking about that you just only hitting her up because something about a baby mama? So I'm just your baby mama now? I ain't never seen nothing like that. What are you talking about? Bruh, I saw the messages. <sighs> Who is Chantel? She ain't nobody. Mm-hmm. That's the best that you got? I mean, she ain't, she ain't nobody. Okay, whatever. I don't believe you. You're a liar. I'm sick of you lying and cheating and manipulating me. Nobody's cheating. Okay. I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. Okay, sweetie. All right. F all of that. Who? It's not even nothing that say I'm cheating. Okay, I don't care. The fact is you still entertaining and you said that you was going to stop. I don't care about none of that. Who the hell is Derek? Derek, that's my dog. That's your dog? You yes, sure? Yes. So why y'all got messages talking about the first kiss? So you... What are you talking about? Oh my God. He didn't know what to say at first. He's just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure you remember those messages, sir. You don't need to pull up your phone and proceed to like, what? Try to delete them really quick. Like she caught you in a hundred percent lie. And then not only was it women, it was men. Like there's just so much wrong here. Number one, you living off of somebody. That's a problem. If you're not contributing, you're a problem. Number two, you're cheating on the person that you're living off of. Definitely not cool. That's like probably the worst way to receive karma in life. Like you're literally using somebody and then you cheat on them too. Like if you don't get hit by a bus tomorrow, like <laughs> I would be so surprised. But then third thing that's wrong with this, you're sleeping with not only women, but actual men too. 
I guess she did go on social media in a way like we're seeing this now but his face is being completely um blotted out and i don't know if the original video did have it because i found this through another viral video so I, uh, the original video that this was taken from i don't have but it's just like one of those things where wow like there's just no coming back like you're not only cheating but you're cheating with a whole guy and i'm sorry don't have any problem with gay people whatsoever y'all do what you do leave our heterosexual men alone and quit trying to turn them out that is not cool <laughs> or maybe just have some level of self-respect and stop messing with guys that you know are technically straight because you deserve like as a gay man you deserve a guy that's going to claim you 100 percent of the time unless that's what you like unless y'all both are closeted and you have your wives and your girlfriends and you just want to have your moments alone or whatever but yeah there's a little bit left <laughs> so you finna act stupid read the messages he said something about he couldn't forget y'all first kiss and you talking about when you see him at the gym later that you're gonna get another one so you I'm now not bro <laughs> what the is up like explain these messages because i'm really trying to understand clothes and you can get out come on hey, I'm not get your clothes and get out i'm sick of this for real I don't know, but let's go. Come on, you move it too quick. You move it too slow. Let's go. Where's my keys at? I don't know, but guess what? I'll help you find them. Oh, here they are. Oh. Come on. Come on, catch your keys like the dog that you are. Go fetch. Hey, I don't have nowhere to go. I don't give a damn. You can ask Derek. You can ask Chantel, whoever. Oh, I don't. Man. I told you I'm not just nope. You're not We're done. I'm, I don't want to talk about it no more. We're done. Oh, Hurry please. up. Go down the stairs before I call the police. I'm so serious. Wow. She even threatened at the end to call the police if he didn't leave. Jeez, his whole night would be ruined if she did that. <laughs> wow. So what do you guys have to say about that? I mean, the fact that he's like begging on the way out, like, baby, you know, I don't have anywhere to go. Like, that sounds like a you problem. I'm sorry. Like, somebody is supposed to care about how you feel after you dog them out and not only I'm sorry, it does make it worse. It, it absolutely, I don't care what anyone says, it does make it worse. Because when you find out the person that you're with has been cheating on you with the opposite sex, it almost makes you feel like there's no recovery. I don't have a penis. I don't have what a man has. So if that's what you're into, I'm not going to be it. Like over time, you may just end up being gay or you really, you know, are gay and you're hiding it through dating women and stuff. And I don't know. I don't really understand the closet thing. Most people don't have a problem with gay people, but it's just not something that they want for their own lives, being real. So the fact that her boyfriend is gay absolutely makes the cheating that much more painful and hurtful. I don't know. I have a lot of men who watch my channel. Leave it in the comment section. How would you feel if the woman that you were with cheated on you with a woman? Would you like it? Would you think it was sexy? Or would you be offended by it or to the point where you feel like, you know what, this relationship is going nowhere. Like, I can't satisfy this person. Like, they have a thirst for something that I absolutely, under no circumstance, can fulfill. I mean, but like I said, it was a lot of things that made me just like, I have to react to this video. Like, not only are you like broke, living off of the girl, but you're cheating on her and not just cheating with a guy. Like, it's some dirty dogs out here. It's some real dirty, no good men out here. It really is. And we highlight a lot of the no good women on this channel. So it's only fair that every now and again, you're going to get a video where the guy is kind of the low down, dirty dog. And this is absolutely the definition of it. Like you're a hobosexual turned homo. Like that's just crazy to me. <laughs> anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And I will see you next time.